He needs to be careful because he can't see through that eye for the rest of the day. It's going to be like severely blurred. So. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. We are having the car washed because it actually looks like it's been through a rally track. It's not white anymore. It's grey. It's not white. It never sees why ever I can guarantee we'll have the car wash now and it will rain or it will snow. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Good morning everybody. How are you today? We're fine. <laughs> now we're talking to them, aren't you? Yeah well. I don't want you to talk to me. Then stop answering. <laughs> so we're just gonna go and pick Kevin's brother up from his house and then we're gonna go and pick Kevin up and take him to the Eye hospital. I'm gonna go and pick Amshank up. And then he's gonna have his bulb fixed. <laughs> as he would say. I'm and gonna get his bulb fixed and then we're gonna go back home to get Liam because Liam finished at half one and then we're off to Alex's and Anthony's tonight for a curry and then tomorrow Josh is coming, Oscar's friend, I think, and then on Saturday. We're going to go out with Josh and Oscar, and on Saturday night we're going Barbara and Kevin's for a drink. Lee's going to drop us off and pick us up. So we've got a full on next couple of days. We've always got a full on every day. It's like never stops. I feel like I should just never sleep anymore because I feel like there's no time you to sleep. You don't sleep anyway. I actually don't sleep. But I've been to the doctors about it and they just can't seem to find a reason why. Maybe I should just kick Dave out of bed because Barbara said when she kicked Kevin out of bed that she got a better night's sleep. Maybe I should put him on the floor and see if I sleep better. You'll wake up in the middle of the night screaming if I'm not in bed with you. I don't think I would. You would. It'd be like Kevin being able to spread out like a star. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go because otherwise we'll just end up rambling well dave will so we just dropped kevin off at the medicar i think it's called medica spa or something like that basically it's an eye clinic at the end of dean's gate in manchester we didn't pick frank up because he thought it was in the morning not in the afternoon or midday so we didn't we didn't get to pick frank up so i'm just waiting on kevin now to ring me because he's going to go in now and see how long it'll take he said to me last week that they told him that it shouldn't be that long it's all chemicals now that you use in your eye they don't actually cut it or mess around with it it's just like different kinds of drops and stuff but he needs to be careful because he can't see through that eye for the rest of the day it's going to be like severely blurred so that's why we're hanging on for him so as soon as i know you'll know kids are back from school i don't think dave vlogged when he went to school because that's dave he takes a camera and never uses it Anyway, we picked Jack up today and Jack's staying here with us tonight. Well, not tonight, he's not staying all night, he's going home later on. But he's staying for tea. Um, that's my friend Alex, who's just moved local. She's um, gone to parents' evening, so Jack's staying here with us till later on until we go to her house. James, so, he's gonna have his, so he's going to have his tea here. So, this is the situation at the minute. They have... Um, Easter bonnet parade tomorrow. Well, Alfie does, and the other two have got to design an egg or some kind of theme to do with eggs. So, Oscar is doing a football pitch with eggs playing football. Portia is still thinking about what she's doing because you know, Portia has just got to be like Mrs. Wonderful and perfect and trying to be better than everybody else. Although, it's not about being better than anybody else, it's about taking part in it, Portia. I know you're nodding for when you try, yeah. I don't know what you're nodding for because you, you know you only want to win. When you try but you don't succeed. I know. And this is my kitchen at the minute. I'm sick and tired of it. Look at the state of it. Well, we've got all decorations over here. We've got decorations on here. Dave's brew here. Plates. Pots. And my table. So. This is what I'm going to do now. Get rid of it all. Mm. Dave's claw mm -hmm. is going downstairs, whether he likes it or not. So we're going to crack on and make some of these, and then when we. You're going to try we... and think of something for mine. 
got a bit more progress in this um, project, we will let you know. Now we got Jack. Hiya. That's Jack. Not Did you have a good? It was Did you have a good day in nursery? I love them. <laughs> why you love you like me? Why are you being ignorant? Did you have a good day nursery? Hey, say hi to Jack. No. You got to say hi to YouTube. Hello. <laughs> hi, YouTube. So this is Jack. This is Alexandra's son. Slash Alex. Alex, yes, she don't like being called Alexandra, does she? <laughs> Missed me. Did you have a good day at school? Did you miss me? How's that uh, football pitch on school? You've not seen land. Jack before, have you? Did you see it as I went to your house and I think Oh yeah, you was in the car, weren't you? No, she Oh no, we didn't have her with me when we picked you up, did yeah, we? Yes, we saw her before. Oh sure. Yeah. Oh, at your old house she did, didn't she? Yeah. But she was only tiny then, she probably don't recognise him now because he's grown up so much. So do, you know, do you know him? So much. It's Jack. No. <laughs> Give him a hug. Give him a hug. No, she will in a bit. You're shy, aren't you? We're not going to get out what you've done at nursery today, are we? Till later. So, Alfred is just Press starting it. to make his Easter bonnet. So, we're learning him to use a glue gun. Obviously, we're a Watch it in a minute. Right, do you want me to do that? Do you want to hold everything and I'll do the blue one? It's electric. <coughs> but you can't really press it because it's so solid. Maybe it's on that glue there, that's why it's not working. It's not where's the glue gone? In front of the glue sticks behind you now. It's not run out of glue that quick, has it? That's why it's not working. Uh, have you got to have one in it to keep it put being no, 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 pushed no, through? I think so, yeah. Does it get really hot, the glue? Yeah, can I do this one? It's... Or is it just it's warm? It's like... It, you know, it, it's like the 3D printer. It's hot straight away, but it's not like, you know, you go, ah! And then it just, you can just rub it off then. Yeah, you've got that. You've got on that one. Keep going. Bit more. Yeah, I'll do. And then we'll put this one about there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. Your hat is gonna look so good. If I win, I get a big egg. Yeah. Well, I want half of it for helping you. <laughs> He's only joking. What am I win? I'm not. You are. So, just want to let you know because last night Dave was sat in the no. kitchen and he was saying to me, Do you know what, darling? I really am sick. I'm not sick. I'm sticking to a diet. So there was me feeling all sorry well, for him. I went, mean, Well, I'll help you, blah, 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 to find that this is what he had in the cupboard. This is what he was hiding. It is a Cadbury's dairy milk with Dime Bar in it. So, he's not on a diet. He's lying. Don't ever believe him. I do not hide chocolate. You know why? Because I don't really eat chocolate. All toffees. Now and again, I have a chocolate bar. And there's only so many chocolate bars I like. The only chocolate bar she doesn't like are the, uh, is a bounty. Every other one's fine. No, we do like bounties. I actually no. don't like a lot of chocolate. The only chocolate I like yeah, is a whisper. No, we a bounty. And that's it, really. I want a snicker. Oh. I don't really like Kit Kats or anything else. Kit Kats the worst Kit chocolate they have ever made is a double decker. That is just disgusting. I used to love him when he was little. So, you, so they were nicer. Do you remember when I first got you? I think I craved on him when I was pregnant, but then I've just never ate him again That's since ever. So you actually did like double deckers? No, I just craved on him. It was it's, it's different. You can't say they're disgusting. They are. They don't even taste of anything.
have literally just got back from Alex's and Anthony's because we went to their house for a curry tonight. So we did take the camera because obviously Alex and Anthony are not quite used to um, being on YouTube. So we've just been backwards and forwards today and most of the day has been in the car. So we've not actually vlogged as much as we thought we would because we thought we was going to be doing more. And then we ended up having um, Jack tonight for tea because Alex was at a hair appointment. And then when she came to pick Jack up, Jack was still out with Dave. So it was just easier for Jack to stay here and have his tea and us to take him with us to Alex's. Dave's just knocked on the door. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the kids the Easter bonnet that they made for tomorrow. What are you doing? Did you pull your fingers behind your back? No, ask him. Did I? You probably did. I'll just watch it back so I'll know them. Anyway, um, so I'll give you a quick glimpse at these, but obviously the kids will be showing you tomorrow morning. Portions is still in process of being made, so process, progress of being made, or whichever. And that will be done soon, and we're going to add all the bits and bobs to that once it's done. <coughs> um, but yeah, basically. I'm still full of cold, still feeling really tired, I look really rough today because I've just got no energy. Today I feel like the energy has just been drained right out of me. I'm not too sure why, but anyway, let me show you these. So this is Alfie's hat. I'll turn it all the way around so you can see it all, but basically this is the front, as you can see, because the chick's got its face there. And we actually bought a glue gun today and it is absolutely amazing. It was from the pound shop and I think it was £2.99. And I think the glue was a pound for like 20 sticks. And oh my God, if you haven't got one of these, you need one. Because they're amazing. And this is Oscar's. So we've just got a, a breakfast box. Cut the top off. Painted it white. We coloured a piece of paper in green. Dave did the football pitch markings. And then... The chickens are actually playing football with a little egg. And then on this side, we've got the referee. These are the goalkeepers. And then obviously your team around this pitch. So we actually thought that was a really good idea. Now Porsches on the other hand is a little bit different but we are going to decorate it in the morning. But basically, okay, I need to stop saying that, don't I? Basically. Basically, basically, basically. It's a bunner. Dave's just printing the head off now. And what you do is you put mini eggs in it, you press the ears down, and it actually poops out the front mini eggs. How clever is that? So in the morning, she's just going to paint the ears, I think, and she wants to stick some stuff on it just before she goes to school. Because obviously that's still printed, so we won't be ready till morning. But if we get up a little bit earlier, then she'll be able to finish it. Dave's just been test goals because we had no tea bags. So now we can make me a nice cup of tea. Then I'm going to go and start some washing out. You know the routine. Start the washing out. Make sure the kids are wrapped up while I'm in bed. I don't know what Eva's chewing here. What have you got there, Eves? What have you got? A bullet and a piece of paper. What have you got? What have you got? <laughs> Do you like bullets? Hmm? Do you like bullets? Eves? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you trying to chew me, Jim? The dog with an earth gun bullet. She's funny. But well, you know what? The kids keep saying that they've got no nerf gun bullets left. That's why, because Eve is at them all. So 
I'm just going to go and chill out for a bit now and I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. It's about 5 to 11 at night. It's not about, it is. So I'm just going to go and sort everything out that I need to, then jump in the shower and not having a bath. I'm going to jump in the shower and get straight into bed because I really need some sleep. So Dave will probably check back in with you shortly and say good night. All right, guys, we're going to end the vlog there. As Sarah said before, Alex and Anthony aren't that confident to go on the camera yet, but we're working on them, so hopefully we'll be able to introduce them and it'll be another member of the family that you can meet and look forward to seeing in more vlogs. Obviously, they've just moved in as well, so the reds are messed up. Because it's a big change from moving from like right near Manchester City Centre up into the hills where everything's a lot more slower and stuff like that so it's a big adjustment and plus she's back in work as well this weekend she's been promoted so she's now a sister at the hospital so uh, her head's just everywhere they're converting the loft they're showing us the loft tonight uh, it's just a shame that we you know uh, we couldn't take it because we could have showed you around as well it was um, the house is amazing it really is it's really nice so fingers crossed tomorrow that one of them or all of them brings home a prize from the Easter Bonnet Parade. I think they've only ever won it once and that was Portia that did. Um, she did Star Wars Easter eggs. I helped her obviously, like I did a big egg and a small egg on the top for like BB-8. And I think she swung it because her teacher at the time, who's also called Mrs. Ravenscroft, she is a massive Star Wars geek, so I think it swayed it. But as you've seen with the stuff that they've done, you've not seen Porsches, you'll see Porsches tomorrow when it's finished. This is the bottom half of it. So this is the dispenser, so basically you put eggs in there, open its head and then they all come down out of its feet, it's pretty cool. But obviously she pressed the buttons for it and everything else so she's technically made it, which I think again swings it for her because I don't think anybody else is going to be taking anything like that. But I've seen these Easter egg and bonnet parades and some of the parents just go over the top with some of the stuff, so we'll see. But anyway, I'm rambling again, do not forget. To smash the like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed already make sure you click the bell so you're notified every time we drop a video make sure you leave a comment we always get back to you we always show you some love and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day